Why would you do that? See you later. Really? Now? Sit down and ask, what am I doing? Why would you do that? Frankly, we should be showing more respect. Now, save it until later. There are too many dead already. It is all about serious personal dedication to the law. There's a challenge, and that challenge must be met. As he wishes. You should do it. No, 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 you must have missed her. So that didn't work. You say it's a solution, but I think it will make things worse.
I call that dangerous half knot. serious personal dedication. You say it's a solution, but I think it will make things worse. Frankly, they should be showing more respect. If I sit down and ask, what am I doing? I don't want anything to do. There are too many dead already. Really? Now? Listens to me. You've got to sit down and ask, what am I doing? So that didn't work.
Fink sent me. Did he? Well, I don't have anything to say to those albs. This whole thing between Caleb and Fink is starting to get on my nerves. I shouldn't have said anything, okay? But what's done is done, and that's that. Tell me your version of the story. My version? I'm stuck between the two of them. I told Caleb in confidence that I saw Fink meet an alb outside the city. Could have been a separatist, but I wasn't sure. I didn't see any more than that, but Caleb decided to tell the clerics. He convinced me that the alb Fink met must have been from Zaykor. But I have no real idea who he was, or what faction he's with. About this situation with the separatists, do you have any idea what I should do? I feel... this is a mess. Go to the clerics and tell them you made a mistake. I can't do that. Caleb will call me a traitor. And for all I know, Caleb is right. That alb could have been from Zaykor. What if Fink actually is an alb spy? I spoke with Fink. He is not a spy. How can you be sure? Whatever it was I saw, I saw it. Don't you think it's suspicious? And even if this Alb was a separatist, we don't really know what they want either, do we? No. No, it's too risky just to hope he's innocent. I can't say anything to the clerics. That is your decision. Yes. I'm sorry, but we can't risk it. Not if Caleb could be right. You've helped me decide. Thank you. The Separatists must leave the city. I will go to Caleb and tell him that I won't say anything. is always better than repair. has the energy regulator. Good. The dome should be more stable now. I thank Kalan for sending you. Kept you. I'm here now. So you are. And are you planning on telling me where you've set up camp or what comes next? Or do I have to wait for that too? Okay. I'll tell you what's happened so far. You've done a lot, but you still have got a lot of work ahead of you. Or we have. And we're not going to get where we need to without a jetpack. 
Don't worry, I know how to use one of those. I'll keep up with you. Now can we talk about my problem? There's just one more thing. Yes. Why did you choose to join the Berserkers? To begin with, it seemed like the best way to survive. But that isn't everything. My own people tried to kill me. I want to find answers, and joining a faction has to help me find them. I hope you're not just doing this for your own personal reasons. You said you wanted to study the properties of Elix. How will you do that? I can feel the presence of Elix. Mostly where it's present in great quantities. Like the converter? You don't need any special powers to feel the Elix there. No, I'm talking about unrefined Elix. When it's raw, latent. I can learn more from it when it hasn't been altered. I want to explore Magalan and look for some large deposits of unrefined Elix. Deposits? I thought Elix arrived with the comet. You're right. Part of its power is that it isn't from here. I want to discover how it is spread across Magalan. But when it is processed by the Alps, the Elix changes. It becomes... polarized. The transmuted form that the Berserkers get from their mana shrine changes it in similar ways. That keeps some of its power, but it's the Elix that came with the comet that I want to learn more about. I need it untouched. Pure Elix. How do you want to find these large Elix deposits? When the comet impact spread Elix across Magalan, it found its way everywhere. Into the seas, the rock, the air we breathe. But it is collected and concentrated in some places. I have felt the vibrations, the presence of these deposits. I want to track them down and examine them. Where can you find this unrefined Elix? The first deposit I'd like to investigate is north of the city of Abessa. I can show you. If it's so close, why hasn't anyone else found it? I don't know. Maybe because nobody can feel Elix like I can. Your senses are better than Alp technology. Come with me and find out. All right, show me the way. It's not far from the city. Follow me. There is a vast amount of elix flowing into the sea. It washes out of the cliffs and the ground, and it flows out across the planet. Elix is everywhere. But you still think we need to find concentrations of it? Yes. From the moment the comet struck, Elix has been seeping into everything on Magalan. That makes the background noise from it hard to read. If I'm to learn more, we must follow those mutants to find where the Elix is coming from. We know where we have to go. I'll follow you this time. That was great. I'm better at sensing Elix than any person I know. But there are mutants with the same ability. We should be careful in case the Elix deposit has attracted them. Be careful. Look out!
The deposit must be here. I can feel the elix in the ground. And so what do we do now? I must meditate. Wait over there. I need space away from you. Please don't disturb me. I need to focus. That was... That was what I was afraid of. That doesn't sound good. It's something I've suspected. It's why I came. It's the reason you're going to think I'm crazy. I could feel the Elix was communicating with me. Like it has a purpose. That it wants something from me, from the people on this planet. Elix speaks to you? I know how crazy that sounds. But it's true. But it's a mineral. How can it want something? How can it speak to you? That's one of the reasons I had to leave Goliath. It was like the Elix was screaming to me. I thought it was because of the mana they were giving me, but now I know it's something different. So, you want to continue? You said you would help me. That was our deal. Are you still up for this? Now you know how crazy my idea is? Let's assume I believe you. What exactly do you think you heard? I'm not sure. It wasn't words. More a sense of desire, of purpose. But it was fleeting, hard to catch. I think I need to find a bigger deposit of Elix. That might help me hear it more clearly. Okay. What happens now? We go Elix hunting. But first I need to return... home. I have to go to Edam to one of our world hearts. The one south of the observatory, in the middle of the dam. Now I've heard it, sensed it here. I want to know if this is what I heard when I was close to large amounts of mana in a dam. You said you felt something back then. Why would it be different now? Because I need to be sure. I need to know I'm not... I wasn't going crazy. Can't you see how important this could be? What this would mean for everyone? You go. I'll meet you there when I can. Right. See you in a down. Leave me alone, will you? There are reasons for us to come together. So you came through for Cooper? Yes. Then it seems we can rely on you. And a good job is rewarded. That's how we do things in Tavar. Now he's out. How are you going to get into the city? Well, I was hoping Cooper was going to sort that from the inside. But no dice. So, we're going to have to wait for something to change in there. Something's cooking for sure. So we've just got to hope it comes to the boil soon. It's not like we can go back to Tavar. The Duke's never been keen on Baxter's old boys. So we're going to risk staying here a bit longer and hope the Alps don't march through here. You think you know what's going on? No one knows what's going on. No.
too easy. Those creatures need dealing with. So annoying. Yeah? Not now. I've got a message for you from Gustav, the guard on the gate. What does that tool want? I can't imagine he's opening the gate for us. He wants all of you to leave. Now. If he wants that, then he can come and tell us himself. His power ends at the gate to the city. We're going nowhere. You tell him that. What do I get for running your errand? You want shards? What the hell would a berserker spend them on? If Gustav has decided he wants us dead, then he's too much of a danger. He's not going to leave us alone until he's dead himself. It seems you can get close to him. So I want you to persuade him to come out here. Say you need help or something. I want to see that asshole's eyes when he dies. Bring him here, and you can have the shards he promised you. Plus a sweetener on top from me for your help. How's that for profit? You have a deal. I'll bring him here. It might even give us a way in if he's not on the gate anymore. Maybe, maybe not. But it'll be one less cleric. Either way, bring Gustav to us and we'll take care of him. He's the main thing we need to deal with. Okay, I'll do it. Fucking elves. He'll cost all of us. About the outlaws in the farm. You mean the threat on our doorstep? The canker in our midst? They who should disappear? There are too many outlaws at the farm. I need your help. Very well. But I'll only pay half. I'm risking my life and my job coming to help you. Okay? Just wait a moment. I have to find a replacement at the gate. It can't go unguarded, after all. I'll be right back. Yes. Let's go and take care of these outlaws.
Yeah? Not now. I've heard a lot about that. I'm not sure I believe it. Gustav is dead. And you deserve the profit from that. Check his corpse for the reward he offered you. And here's a sweetener for getting the job done. You back the right side. The fight is Spitball the only thing of a day. That makes a real man. What? Who's there? It's about. 
about time. You should heal those wounds. Claw will be your guide. So, you're the one who helped Carter. That speaks well of you. Come on through. Talk to Hector. He'll answer your questions. something buy or sell I sell you buy but we do buy too sometimes altogether I'm into buying and selling things so if you have anything you need to offload before the original owner finds out then you can bring those items here to me I have some goods to sell ah a few more items been liberated have they show me what you have
Hello, my name is Yasma. But before you say a word, know this. I don't want to know who you are. I don't want to know what your name is. I am not interested in where you're from or what you're doing here. If you can remember that, then we'll get along just fine. You might not want to know anything about me, but I want to know who you are. There's little to say. I have lived my life on my own. One day I was robbed, seriously wounded and left to die. An outlaw by the name of Rat found me and helped me get back on my feet. He told me he knew of a place where I could be safe, where I could learn the skills of a thief. In return, I would have to teach those abilities to others. That is how I came to be here. That is why I stayed. Will you teach those skills to me? As Darius allowed you in, I assume you're someone who could be worthy. So please, what would you like to know? Teach me something. All right. Why don't you want to know about me? Who you say you are means nothing to me. I have met so many people, so many claws who have disappeared and never shown up again. I do not want to repeat that experience. sent to find you. By Darius, I'm guessing. And I assume you have a lot of questions about the claws. Who are you? My name is Hector. I am the leader of our network of the disinfected. Are they? All obedience and little reward. I was in the fort in Tavar when the Duke took it from Baxter. One new master to replace the old. And so I thought, why continue like that? So the Claws were born. Whatever faction, whatever land, we are everything and everywhere, and we reward all. Welcome to the Claws. Who are the Claws? We are an independent group, dedicated to redistributing wealth to ourselves. You mean you're thieves? We take things. But tell me of a faction that doesn't. And they are only interested in their cause. We are an organization of independent wealth acquirers who focus on our members. We don't have ranks, and we don't care which faction you are with. We believe that the only thing that can help you survive and grow in this new world of ours is a Lexit. What is this place? This is our headquarters. The center of our operations. Well, that's a bit formal. It's more a place that people can come and make contact. We arrange deals, we reward. Here we pledge to work with each other and to keep the word of the clause. So, who is in this network? Oh, that you will discover as you travel across Magalan. We are everywhere. But we choose who we allow to join very carefully. None of us know about the entire network, and nobody apart from me knows the size of our organization. We are recognized by our mark, the claw. Show that, and another claw should assist you. But let's get to the real reason of your visit. Now that you know who we are, would you like to become part of our network? What are the goals of the Claws? The factions are at war. War for land. War for resources. War for war's sake. We have no interest in their politics. We simply want to ensure that whichever side wins, our members prosper. And this place has given us somewhere to stay while the Albs and the Clerics tried to blast each other out of existence. It will give us a place to store our riches until we have enough to found a new empire 
and the new world that will follow. And so the question is, will you join us in this journey? What do you think will happen to your secret network when I tell the clerks you're here? It seems a mistake has been made. A pity. And it seems there is only one thing we can do. Our secret must be kept. Come here! So, you want to fight? So, you want to... Uh. Uh. I'll get you. Put that weapon down. <laughs> 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 Ugh! 
Here's a key. 